Hey everyone, in this video we're going to cover the four areas of the city of Ottawa so you have a good idea how the city is laid out, how the highway system works, the best way for public transit, and each neighborhood and where it's located within the city of Ottawa so you can make the best choice and relocate into Ottawa. But before we get into that, we have to actually get into my computer to see what that looks like. So hit it, show reel. So here we are, we're in my office and on my desktop here, we're gonna work away and show you the four areas of Ottawa. So you can be more familiar when you move or relocate to the Ottawa area. So just to get an idea of the parameters, here we have Ottawa, of course, right here in the middle. And you can see the relation between Montreal and Toronto and where we actually are located in the, the, uh, the southeast side of Ontario, which is a massive province. And of course, where we are in relation to the rest of, of the USA. Okay, as we come into this area, we have Toronto and Montreal are the closest two cities to our particular area. Now, if you look at the distance between Ottawa and Toronto, if you were to drive and commute, you're looking at about four hours, four hours and a half, four and 30 minutes, depending on which area of Toronto you're going to get into. So it's an easy commute along the 401, Highway 401, and the 416 that connects up to Ottawa. Now, if you went the opposite way, you went east and you went to Montreal, you'd actually be looking at an Ottawa to Montreal of two hours. So it's a very easy drive. A lot of people do a day trip back and forth and enjoy all the benefits and the great things Montreal has to offer. Now, when we go into the Ottawa area itself, we'll talk about the four sections of Ottawa. And that's really important to know because there are four areas that Ottawa is often referred by. We have West, East, Central, and South. And those areas actually have a lot of different vibrant communities within them and different traffic pros and, and, and quality of life areas that we're looking at. So as we go through this, we'll kind of start up over here on the west side. Now you can see the, the actual shape of Ottawa. It is a massive geographical region, but it actually is shaped like a heart. If you look at it very closely, kind of comes in as a heart, which is wonderful. Hopefully you can see my mouse here. This is my first time doing this. So, And up here on the top, we have Arm Prior. All right, so we're just on the outside of Arm Prior. And of course, our prize is a great little city and it's really benefited from this two-lane highway access out along 417. For a long time, it didn't have that. But now it does. So you can easily get out to Armprior within a 40-minute drive. Um, and it's become a real commuter town for Ottawa. People buying an Armprior and enjoying the, the drive into town for their work. As you come down here, it kind of stretches out and we, we have Packetham on the outside of that, which is a great little town. Mississippi Mills, which is also known as Almont. This area here is, this is Mississippi Mills Township, but the town itself is called Almont, which is a, a lovely town full of um, uh, artists, uh, awesome bakeries and cafes, and, and a nice, nice, really well-connected community. We have Carmel Place here as well, and so that's just outside of the, the scope of the Ottawa parameter, and this sits, uh, you know, wonderful. This is really developing too, and this has benefited just like Arm Prior where they benefited from a wonderful two-lane highway out uh, from Highway 7. And of course, when we get down here to the southern tip, we have down to Merrickville, great little town in Smith Falls, and we have Kempville. So we have these wonderful little towns just outside the Ottawa region. And of course, then we, we get into the 416 that comes up here. And on the far side, we come over here to Winchester, Chesterville, and a lot of the eastern townships of Russell, Limoges, Embrum, Castleman. These areas are absolutely booming right now in terms of real estate. They are growing exponentially. And it's a great way for somebody on a budget that can't afford the, the driving prices of the average home in Ottawa to actually be lived in those areas as well. And we come up on the eastern side here, and this is Orleans area. We're just coming, coming outside, and this is Clarence Rockland. So Rockland and Cumberland area are just almost on the outside. There's a portion of Cumberland that's on the outside eastern town side of, of Ottawa. So as we get into Ottawa itself, let's kind of flank back and forth. We have in the west, you have Canada, which is a big driver with the high tech, Silicon Valley North. On the outside of Canada, we have this area called Stittsville. And Stittsville is a wonderful spot. Of course, it has the main strip right through here. This has really boomed up the last little, in the last little while. We have this wonderful 
uh, development happening in this area as well in Stittsville. <clears throat> Eventually, if we get really close, you'll see that Stittsville starts to really connect into the Canada area. This, this divide here is now starting to be really developed. And soon enough, you'll see the Canada area, which was really the big driver with the high-tech area over here along March Road. And then, of course, we get into Morgan's Grant and some other areas here of Canada Lakes. Beaverbrook, which was the original area of Canada back in the 70s. Glencairn down here. And then we start to get into the different areas of um, Canada. But Canada is massive. It's large. And it's almost like its own metropolitan area within Ottawa. And, of course, we have the benefit of having Stittsville right down here as well. So these two really play well. They're right, quite connected. Up over here, more in the west side, we have the small village of Carp. And Carp is becoming bigger and bigger all the time. It's a wonderful little area to raise a family. Easy commute into town as well. And then further up into the west side, as we kind of pan out here to get your relation where we were, you'll see that we have the actual Canada, Stittsville, Carp here. And then we have Dunrobin that reaches into Constance Bay area and along the shoreline here which is really wonderful spots for cottage and nice homes that are developed up in that area. As we get down here, we have uh, what we call Shirley's Bay. And this is a military compound, this whole area here, which borders onto the developing or the ever developing Canada area. And of course, then we get into the west side of, of Ottawa here. Now, as we go south, in South End, we actually have Barhaven and Manatic. So as we come into here, you'll see in the the, the southern portion of right here of Ottawa. This is a downtown Ottawa here with Parliament Hill with that little icon there to give you some relation. But we have Barhaven here, and then further down we have Manatic, which is on this uh, long island as you see here. Manatic is beautiful. It has some wonderful large properties here and development on the water side here. Just got to be careful because there is a conservation authority that runs this waterway here, and sometimes trying to work with uh, development opportunities it can be restrictive with some of their, their requirements that they have. Barhaven itself is booming. So the older part of Barhaven is along here, along, along Fallowfield Road. And we have long fields, and this area has developed the last little while. This is the original portion of, of Barhaven coming in here. And then along Strandherd, that was the back, you know, uh, years ago, that was the back end of Barhaven. And now it has just exploded right down in here, this whole area, which has almost doubled the size of the original Barhaven. It's kind of come right down here, and we have in here, of course, we have Stonebridge area. And then in, in this complex right down here, you know, we have Half Moon Bay area as well. And it just keeps growing. It starts going further and further down. So it is quite large, and Barhaven is wonderful because you can access 416. And then over here on the east side, we have Orleans. And we have Blackburn Hamlet, which is a smaller area here, Blackburn Hamlet right there. And then Orleans over in this area here, which is a growing area. So once again, to recap, we have on the west side, we have Canada, Stittsville, into the Dunrobin area, which is quite nice. Then on the opposite side, further down on the south side, sorry, we have Barhaven and Manatic, which is booming. So Canada is really strong with its real estate values. Barhaven down is is absolutely booming and they've really enjoyed some wonderful growth in their in their market values. On the eastern side we have Orleans. Um, there is some French speaking dominance in that area and we're going to go into a future video talking about the demographics of all these areas so we can understand the language, the median income, the educational uh, areas so that you have a really clear idea of what's happening in Ottawa. And then we have Centertown <clears throat> which of course as we get into there we have Westboro on the side here. Westboro we have Hintonburg, Little Italy, Mechanicsville, down into the Glebe here. And then, of course, we have Alta Vista, almost kind of on the east side. And then we have downtown Ottawa, center town, then Parliament Hill. And then over here, we have Byward Market, and then lower town in this area, and Sandy Hill, which we've done some, some videos on. Now, the Ottawa itself, when you look at it, is really separated by the canal. You know, this canal right here is, uh, is um, I, um, it's actually a World Heritage Site. And it is the, it's frozen in the wintertime, so people skate all along here, which is just, uh, absolutely beautiful. It's where they host Winterlude. Now, the canal itself actually separates basically west from east in terms of the city that's in the center. But if you're heading this way, once you get past, you know, the, the Bayshore area here, and of course, uh, Arlington Woods, 
this is kind of the, the 416 kind of measures what ends up going west, which heads out. You have Bell's Corners here, which is a 1970s, 60s style um, uh, community. And as you get further out to the west, you're actually seeing the Canada area here and then into Stittsville as well. So as we come in here, you have these different towns, all these little great areas, Carlington, McKellar Park, Westboro, Glaber Park. We have Woodruff in here. We have Queensway Terrace North and Whitehaven. And then we get into some other different, different neighborhoods. So there's some great booming areas that are moving. Centertown is, is also wonderful and it's really indicative of, of the architecture. And then, of course, then we get into the east side, which is Alta Vista, Overbrook, Vanier, and then some really posh areas up here with New Edinburgh, Rockcliffe Park, Manor Park. We have Beacon Hill over here to the east, and then you start to get into Gloucester, and then we fall into the Orleans area. So the city is quite well laid out. And, you know, something I would like to show you in the city is, is kind of the, the transportation system. Because a lot of people understand, you know, where are you coming from, which way can we, can we go, What's the best uh, time for commute times? Now, the city of Ottawa is built uh, west to east, and it's really been extending down to the south as well. So the 416, sorry, the 417, my mistake, 417 runs right through the heart of Ottawa, right here. This is the 417 highway. And it's also referred to as uh, the Queensway. So when you're driving on the Queensway, people say, oh, you're taking the Queensway. That means the 417. That's the main highway that goes through Ottawa. It splits here. And this becomes the 416, which you would actually take all the way down to the U.S. border or down to Connector 401, which brings you to Toronto. So this is the Southern Highway 416, and a lot of Bar Haven commuters will use this, this channel to get into the city, as well as Kempville down on the south side. Now, the west splits eventually goes off to, to the Armprior. 417 will continue off to the Armprior Way. And then we have Highway 7, that brings us down to Carlton Place. These are both... Uh, four lane highways, two lanes on both sides, so great commute times. You can see where it becomes a single lane after Carlton Place. And of course, the doubling continues for a little while after our prior here, up to Renfrew, up the valley. And that is really called up the valley. As you scoot up this way, this is what they term up the valley. So as we come across back to Ottawa, we have the 417 coming in here, Highway 7 down here. We have the 416, and the 417 cuts across the city. In the, in the east, we come down and we have it split. It'll actually become the 174, which will connect into Orleans. And then we have the 417 continuing down here, which eventually will head through Vars, uh, Limoges. It's a connection point for Russell, Embram, Metcalf, and then through Castleman onto its way to Montreal. So that highway system has um, been actually uh, improved because this orange line you see here is Hunk Club. So that Hunt Club corridor has actually alleviated a lot of the traffic off the 417, which has been great because for a while there it was really starting to get congested in both ways. And so they've expanded the 417 on both ends, east and west, where they're actually opening up the, the lanes. And the, the Hunt Club area is kind of like if you want to, as opposed to cutting back down here to go through the downtown to get to the east, you can use the Hunt Club. Now, mind you, Hunt Club can be very busy as well at rush hour, and it could be bumper to bumper. And it's a two-lane going back and forth, but there is a lot of stops along the way, so it does kind of, uh, the momentum slows down uh, a little bit. Now, depending on where you live, you know, I have a lot of people say that I would love to live in the metcalf Greeley area, and sometimes the commute times coming on these highways, you have to come down Bank Street or, or come across some of these different and, and work way down to these highways again. It all depends on what you're looking for in terms of your, your, your home. You know, in Barhaven, uh, this area, a lot of people actually use, um, whoops, sorry, I'll take a satellite view there. In Barhaven, you know, they'll come down Green Bank, they can cut down Woodruff, they will use Prince of Wales, they'll even cut over to the 416. So there's almost like four different ways to get out of Barhaven, depending on your preference. Whereas Canada, we got one, really. I mean, there's, there's Carling Avenue, which ha is, a, is a great drive, and I used to live down in this area here once upon a time. So Carling does feed down this way, but you also have the, the main 416, and it's a, the four-lane highway, so really it's not uh, too hit um, as, uh, except for the traffic times. So that's the highway uh, quickly. North of the water here, across the Ottawa River, we have Gatineau, Quebec. So this is Quebec over here, and this is Ontario, and we have Ottawa, and we border along Quebec, connected by a few of our different bridges, and there's a lot of commutes coming in from this side as well. 
So that's kind of a 101 very quick of how the city is laid out in terms of the highway access. Now in terms of transit, public transit, you know, there's a lot of excitement happening right now. There's a lot of development happening in the city with our LRT expansion and I want to touch on that quickly. We have here, this is the Westboro area, which is be, this would be the west side uh, of, of Ottawa. This is Bayshore coming in Terry Fox and this is the Canada area to give you a relation. So this is Canada, this is kind of the, the Bells Corners area and this is the far west side and then we get into the downtown area of Ottawa and then it continues over to the, the east side into you know the, the Gloucester area of Beacon Hill and everything else and then out to Montreal Road and then eventually into Orleans. And then of course we've actually expanded this down into the Barhaven area to feed into Barhaven and, and to support everything in, in this growing network here. And then of course the transit will scoot down here to South Keys which is in the south end of the city and then eventually out to the airport located south of the city and then into Leitrim and different areas that connect into Riverside South, this area here. So the O train itself, that's the O train is the Ottawa train or the LRT and this is Confederation line that's being built out this way. So the red indicates the Confederation line as it scoots out to the east end which is uh, uh, some parts of this is already in service as, as of today uh, which is August of 2020. Then of course as we scoot down here we have the O train which is the Trillium line. This actually scoots down to feed these different neighborhoods along Carling which is a Carleton University which is a, a wonderful feeder for all the students going there. Down to Mooney's Bay which is a very popular area and then down to Greenboro. Of course rapid transit, uh, this is the rapid transit map but we also have the inter map of OC Transpo buses which run all the different neighborhoods and, and support those areas. This is what I want to touch on in terms of the actual layout of the city to get an understanding of how the city is laid out. So as we come back out again, we have the Ottawa area, which this now this whole area is under uh, review for expansion. We have the west on the far side. We have the south coming down here. We have the eastern Ottawa and we have central Ottawa. And of course, we're going to go deep dive into all these different neighborhoods with certain vlogs so you can get an experience of what those neighborhoods look like firsthand uh, and we're going to experience all the pros and cons of each of those but to kind of start you off this is how the city is laid out these are the highway accesses coming in from 417 416 how they feed into the city you can go back to look at the actual um, public transit system and, and then of course why is it so accessible for this outdoor enthusiast where you have this wonderful green belt that connects right through the city and then all the areas outside the city wonderful areas you could be 15-20 minutes to a wonderful nature park or you can drive an hour and be in you know, complete uh, privacy and wonderful opportunities for cottage properties. The four areas of the city of Ottawa. Hopefully this helps you in determining where you want to relocate when you come to Ottawa. Honestly, we love this city, we love this country, and we love helping people when they relocate. If you're thinking about making a move, feel free to reach out to us. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or even wrap it up in a bow and send it first class because we got your back. We're moving to Ottawa or relocating across Canada. And every week we're delivering brand new valuable videos just like this one. So make sure to tap that subscribe button and click the bell so you're notified each and every time we do a new video. Until next time, take care. Yeah? Yeah. Running start. Running start? <laughs> Hello. <gasps> No way. That's what he typically does. He just films me as we walk along. I don't know why. It's very weird thing.